Shabar farmers in the Golan Heights have been fiercely protesting Israel's attempts to build border walls through their land. This Lebanese army general affirmed his opposition to Israel's claims to these territories at a meeting of international diplomats. Officials from China, the US, Russia and Europe joined a Lebanese army tour of the border with Israel at the Mediterranean Sea. The Lebanese army said that this portion of the blue line is just one of 13 points of dispute along this ceasefire line. The blue line was created when Israel ended its 20-year occupation of South Lebanon in 2000. The UN brokered the placement of this border to determine whether Israel's troops had fully withdrawn from the territory after its violent and chaotic exit from its neighbor to the north. The boundary is marked with fences and barbed wire from the sea to the Golan Heights, a Syrian territory annexed by Israel in 1981. The Israeli military repeatedly violates the Blue Line. In March this year, there was a tense standoff after Israeli forces crossed the line, but were eventually forced to retreat by a bullish Lebanese officer. This is the last time I said it. Otherwise, we will deal into another situation. We are ready for this. We are ready for everything here. Okay. Okay. Near the Sheba farms, Israel has recently sealed off the northern half of Al Hajar village, which is clearly on the Lebanese side of the Blue Line. However, the Sheba farmers have been resisting attempts to plant fences on their land and literally putting their bodies on the line. The Lebanese army has vowed to support the farmers and not allow Israel to further violate the Blue Line.